Hello and welcome back to the channel where it's a bit of a different video, not a speed paintings, but I feel like lately we haven't really been sticking to speed paintings, so I guess I don't have to mention that. Let's try this again. Hello and welcome back to the channel where we have a video today. It's a bit different. It's interesting because it's a bit crafty. So we're getting into it. All right. So it was an interesting thing because we were basically having to make these little things that we would leave behind after an interview with our job placements because in Nova Scotia, they're a tight-knit community, especially when it comes to graphic design and the creatives industry. So like everyone knows everyone. And to sort of like stand out or to show your appreciation for the interviewer taking their time to interview you, um... We had to create something and it was actually really tricky to figure this out because I have existential crisis every time someone's like, what are you like? Who are you? What do you like? And I'm like, I don't know what do I like. I don't know who I am. Don't ask me these things. All I know is that my favorite color is blue. So like, yeah, you can imagine it's a bit of a pickle. Um, I'm also very sarcastic and whatnot and that doesn't really translate so easily. So yeah, um... I was trying to figure out what do I want to leave behind because there were a lot of cool ideas and a lot of things that would be me, but like, what is acceptable to a society, <laughs> essentially. So like, I spent a long time thinking about this and I did come to a conclusion, which was I basically have these prints that I made for the Christmas market, if you didn't know. Um, I had a Christmas market like last year and I had to sell things. I chose to sell art prints and stickers and whatnot. It was fun. It was fine. Um, and like I created these prints that are bite me prints and it's basically like the poison. So my thought was the poison apple from Snow White and it's like bite me if you want to die. Like if you want to pick a fight with the wrong person. Yeah, go ahead. Bite me. Test me. Try me. Uh, that sort of vibe that's going on but it's just if you didn't know that it just looks funny and cute and like fruits you know because it's an apple you want to bite an apple it looks delicious that type of deal anyways uh i still had prints left over and i don't know if i will sell them or whatnot in the future so because i'm living in the now i am choosing to cut a few of them up so then I can make certain aspects of the prints pop up. And then I can combine that with the fucking bite me stickers. And then just package that up nicely and then give that to the interviewer as a thanks. And by the way, she liked it a lot. But yeah, so basically the process is like a whole bunch of cutting. Um, and I'll tell you. <laughs> so I had to cut out all these pieces and I used a scissor and maybe an exacto knife somewhere. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> when I gave her the product, she looked at it and she's like, oh, wow, you drew this. That's amazing. You're an illustrator. You're a drawer. I didn't I didn't think that um and then on top of that she was like and you cut these out by yourself you must be really good at cutting paper and I'm not gonna lie the last time I had that compliment was in kindergarten because you should be able to use scissors back then apparently um something along those lines I was one of the kids you could trust with the adult scissors surprisingly anyways so <laughs> that was a joke by the way um we so like she was like you're really good and that might not sound much of a comp like a, a compliment really but if you think about it some complex shapes are very difficult to cut out and i suffered through this to cut out these shapes so yeah <laughs> they were a tiny little bit tricky but i got through them Anyways, it was a cool process, very fun to like cut it out and assemble it. And even though it's not like this uh, practical or useful thing, it looks really cool. And I had to sort of make two of these. I say it loosely because they're not exact replicas. They're sort of two of a kind because one is for my teacher to show like, hey, I did do it. This is your copy if you want it. And then the other one was to give to the interviewer. 
So yeah, uh, it was really cool, and it's also just a really cool thing to look at because of how the shadows move and whatnot, and it gives this feeling that it's popping out because it is. But yeah, just a really cool design to do, and it was a cool idea. Um, definitely a good way to use up my art prints, and it was also something that I wanted to try um, doing the layered paper layered effect, but in real life because I could do it in Illustrator, but. Sometimes you just want to do something with your hands and away from the screen. Me. I like doing things away from the screen. But yeah, so like it was a good project and she was very happy with the piece too. Um, she thought it was funny and there were also like two former alumni from my school there and they were like, that is hilarious. And then when they flipped it over, because I tucked the sticker in at the backside, they were laughing so hard because it's a bit of attitude and bite to the audience and they're like oh my gosh amazing uh and that's when they knew i had a bit of an attitude <laughs> which is great you know you always want to apply you want to hire someone with a bit of an attitude sarcasm by the way but yeah so it was a good little thing um and i enjoyed putting it together uh and i was happy that this was my leave behind because i am sort of a serious looking but sarcastic kind of person with some jokes I guess some might say so yeah um very cool piece a little something a little different visually by the way um it's been something I've been trying to work on is breaking out of doing just speed paintings and trying to branch out and do other things as well uh, just so my eyes get breaks from the screen because I stare at screens eight hours a day and I don't need to keep doing it after my work hours. Um, like I've literally had my eyes burning the other day where they were just red and I had to constantly drop eye drops in. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, I've just been taking a little break. So this is just like a little, a little filler. Uh, during in between arcs, <laughs> I guess. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys also stay safe, stay hydrated, and just have a wonderful day. Bye!